Hey there, Seafoam. I need a lift. Leave me alone, goddamn Snoop. Listen, pal. I need a lift to King's Island. We can do this the easy way. Or my way. I ain't going back there, Bear. It was a massacre. What happened? Is Amber okay? Did you take her to King's Island? Uh, who? Miss Ashworth. Oh, leave me alone. I told you I ain't talking. What a night. I sailed the seven seas, and now I'm gonna get shot in the sewage canal. Why don't I come back after you've had your strawberry daiquiris, or whatever? Now what's that supposed to mean? Besides, my bottle got broken in the shootout. Wait, what shootout? Ugh, get lost, bear. What if I bring you something to wet that underbite of yours? Well, bring it, and we will see from there. Quack. Quack. Ah. ah, that really hit the spot. God bless you, Bear. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, what a terrible ordeal, Bear. Okay, so you got the booze. I need you to start talking, pal. Oh, it was terrible, Bear. I took the girl over there and she told me to wait. And evidently you did. Why, I had to get out of there, Bear. The place turned into a goddamn war zone. Was it the police? Aye, those crooks. I guess they wanted for King to hand them the girl. Did he? Well, I couldn't see anything, because I was running away and all. But uh, I don't think so. Listen, pal, I really need you to take me there. Aye, I'll take you there, but for a favor. That was the only bottle I had. No, King has something of mine, and I want it back. A suitcase. Sure. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. What's in the suitcase? You mind your own goddamn business, Bear. Fair enough. Let's go and try not to capsize this thing. Well, who do you take me for? Ducky, old buddy. You ready? What, what the? Oh, it got smashed good, like a pumpkin. Hmm, there seems to be a key inside. There seems to be a loose brick in there. Hmm, a key. I'll just keep them on me. I hope the take was worth dying for, idiots. Throwing darts at little rings, come on. So, I guess they didn't get the bigger boat. Now that's one expensive coaster, if you ask me. There seems to be a key in there, right under the plush-eating piranha. Outsmarted a fish. That's quite an accomplishment, Ted. No time. Sadly. Ha! Huh. I bet this was her idea. So she can stare at him judgingly. Forever. You can really feel the vanity. King can afford some really nice toys.
Yeah, can't help feeling this wouldn't happen if it was made out of lead. One can never have enough keys. Hmm, seems like a mechanism popped a couple of books out. The Shark Father, written by N. Mongano. How to Buy Friends and Assassinate People, by I. Luciano. Blackmailing for Dummies, by K. Maranzano. Lonnie Frasco, written by G. Galliano. Thank you, Scooby-Doo. Why do people keep telling me that? She's gone, Ted. I figured as much. They really did a number on you. It, it was Nils. That back, stabbing son of a... <laughs> Hang in there. I'll call for help. Come on, Ted. We both know this is the end of the line. I see you and your boys took a lot of them with you. Must have been one hell of a fight. <sighs> it was only... Okay. Is she... And she's fine. But seeing as she's in their hands now, she won't be fine <laughs> for long. What about your candle there? I thought you were protected. Uh, I... I couldn't get the damn thing to work. Only she can... Tigran? Where is she? Oh, who knows? It's near impossible for her to settle down dead. She's as wild as they come. It's what I loved about her the most. What were you trying to accomplish, King? <sighs> I made a mistake, Bear. I... was afraid. I thought... I... if I hand the girl over to the Red Men, the city would be safe. But she is the city. Without her, there's nothing. And Mills? Mills has gone insane. It was him who burned down the mill, Ted. I had my suspicions, and he tried to pin it on you. Why? There's no honor among thieves, Bear. We had a gentleman's agreement about the elections, but I guess that pig likes to run unopposed. He was meeting with the red man behind my back all the while, pretending to be concerned about her well-being. He doesn't care for the girl to it. Only himself. So now what? They're handing her over to Red? Is that the plan? I really don't know. Although, that sounds about right. Dead. Yeah. This vault behind me. You'll find everything in there. There's enough dirt in that vault to put Mills away for good. Make sure you give that evidence to someone you can trust. To someone you know. Rest now. I'll rest you when I'm dead. God damn it. We never got along. But I have to hand it to you, King. You turned out to be a bigger man than anyone in this entire hellhole of a town, King. Look on my works, ye mighty in despair. Seems like there's a key on him. Hmm. It's snuffed out. No idea what that is. Hey, these lines I get. It's a heart. Here we go. Two more to go. Almost there. 
Okay, that's the keys. Now what? Easy peasy. I'll hold on to it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I'll just take his purse with me. So much dirt on almost everyone. What happened? King's dead. Let's go. Dead? Holy barnacle! What about the girl? She's not here. Well, that's good. Did you get my... stuff? Yeah. Let's go. Where to now, Bear? Take me back to the shore. Aye. Strange night, Bear. It's about to get stranger. King passing away like that made me realize he was the only one of this sinister bunch to show me some integrity in the end. I have to give him some credit for that. Seems like an underwhelming end for the king of crime, if you ask me. Double-crossed and shot by the police, even more crooked than he was. I was relieved to hear the doll made it out okay, even though she's in Locke's hands now. With King gone, Mills acquired the rest of the PCPD forces to his side. The power of money has no equal, I guess. I know, Locke. I served under him in the Great Pillow War of 38. He's competent, intelligent, disciplined, and the only man in this goddamn city that can actually follow up on his threats. I remember the day he was promoted to the Chief of Police. I thought he was a great choice. We all did. What a bunch of idealists we were. The years that followed took their toll on Locke. He was becoming more shady in his operations. Soon enough, it was impossible to distinguish his actions from the ones he was so rigorously condemning in his speeches. Now, he's nothing more than a common criminal, a dangerous one at that. With every threat I unravel, the outcome seems more bleak. Not only do I have to worry about a lunatic arsonist in the loose, now I have an entire goddamn police department to deal with. I can't get blindsided by all of this. I still have to find Amber. If what King told me holds any merit, seems logical. Locke would bring the doll back to the precinct for questioning, just long enough for Red to conveniently find his way there. I have to get there fast, but that means I won't have any time to prepare my next move. It's time to find out if an old bear can still think on his feet. CBG has gone off the radar. I could really use his help right now. Things are finally starting to make some sense, and I use the term very loosely. Mills has gone insane out of fear. Both him and King thought they could use Red for their own gain. It was already too late when it dawned on them. He can't be reasoned with. 
Red kept on rampaging, and the only way to stop him is to deliver him the only thing he wants. I'm left wondering if Red really gets to Amber, what'll happen then? It feels like I'm running towards a cliff with a blindfold on, but if something happens to the doll in the meantime, will there be a bridge for me at the end? Will there be any bridges left at all?